Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Thank you so much for liking and commenting on our office transformation videos. If you haven't already watched, we we'll link it in the description below. So our next project is debt transformation. Can you believe it's mid-April and still the temperature outside in Ontario right now is only 2 degrees Celsius. It's cold, it doesn't happen usually, but before the summer set in, we have to get this deck ready and I'll show you the condition of the deck. Um, first of all, we'll start with the with cleaning the deck with a power washer and a deck cleaner, followed by uh, staining the deck and then putting some fancy furniture and some LED lights outside so that it'll look really cool and we can enjoy the summers. So let's get started. <laughs> This is the present condition of our deck. Um, as you can see, there is mold growth over here. Um, this is pressure treated wood, and it's the deck is only about five years old, so it hasn't worn out that much and grayed out. But still, if you see, it has started graying here. Um, but we'll need to clean this, give a good um, scrubbing and using a deck cleaner and power wash. I think most of it will go as per the reviews I read on uh, on the company's website and also saw other YouTube videos. Quickly go through the tools and equipment I'll use for the project. So this is the main water pipe which I'll be connected to my garage outlet. Um, this is the pressure washer. I bought this from Costco. It is 2000 PSI pressure washer. Um, it's recommended to use a pressure washer but uh, the only catch is uh, the nozzle, the tip. It should not be the pointed one. This is a 25 degree one, so this should work. Um, along with the pressure washer, uh, we need a deck brush and a pole. I got this from Home Depot. Um, this is the deck cleaner I'll be using. So this is the Behez all-in-one wood cleaner. If your deck is not previously stained, so this would work. But if it is already stained or painted, we would um, have to first strip the paint. So for that, there is another paint stripper which Home Depot sells. This wood cleaner has to be diluted in the ratio of 1 is to 1 with water. Just um, if your wood is not really worn out or weathered out. So in our case, it's not that bad. So I would be diluting it. And for dilution, I will be using this... Um, paint sprayer or a hand garden sprayer this is a normal, a normal vacuum bomb in which you create the vacuum with this uh, something like this and then just spray it on the deck so we'll be using in the ratio one is to one the first step is that we just need to wet the deck because it's really dry before we even apply the deck cleaner we'll have to wet it for that I'll be using my pressure washer if you don't have a pressure washer that's fine you can also use a garden hose so we'll start with wetting the deck floor and the railings and all these sides The next step is to dilute this deck cleaner in this garden sprayer with the ratio of 1 is to 1. So we'll be doing it and then spraying it on the deck and on the railings. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Our solution is ready now. We we'll just have to create vacuum the old school way and then we'll have to spray it leave it for 15 minutes it will foam and then we'll use a deck, um, brush to remove these mold uh, stains and then we'll use the pressure washer I have sprayed half the deck so I'll just wait for the results so this is like the half portion which I've already sprayed with the diluted deck cleaner and, and now I'll wait for 15-20 minutes post that I will be using a deck brush to scrub it and then power wash it and then let's see the difference between this part of the deck 
and this one which has not been sprayed. This is how it is looking after 15 minutes of putting the sprayer. I don't see a lot of difference but as per the instructions we need to now use a deck brush and scrub this and then use a pressure washer or a garden hose. So let's see if that makes a difference and remove the stains. This is the progress so far on the deck. This part of the deck has been cleaned and pressure washed and this is yet to be done. So clearly there is a lot of difference and most of the mold and uh, has been rinsed off with the deck cleaner but still the, uh, some of it is left here. I tried my best to use pressure washer uh, very um, close to the wood but it was just chipping off so I didn't try to use a lot of pressure or use a different nozzle. Um, I think we'll continue using the same technique. This is how my deck is looking after being cleaned, pressure washed and dried. Now it's time for staining it. Uh, for staining I'll be using this clear behair transparent wood proof um, stainer. This will protect my deck for 4 years and for the fence it's say 6 years. It's all weather protection and as per instructions the deck has to be completely dried. Um, all the instructions are written over here oops not here sorry here yeah all the instructions are written over here it can be rolled sprayed or brushed uh, it says it's required to thin coats must prep before use which i have already done and this is a kit which i bought from home depot i was too excited to open it <laughs> uh, so this kit comes with seven pieces it comes with a roller frame a roller a small roller for uh, the vertical boards a small roller frame again uh, an angle one and a half inch brush and a straight four inch brush this liner is not included sorry but the black tray is included for you to put the stain and then it will be easy for you to stain the deck so now we'll start with staining the deck and let's see how it turns After one coat of staining this is how it is looking I have done until this corner so just to see the difference this is coated and this is uncoated so this is the difference between the two now I'll have to wait for an hour before I recoat it and I think it's looking pretty good uh, it's a clear coat so it will dry clear it still looks a little brownish but uh, I, I believe it will dry cleaner so we'll wait and watch. Two coats have been done all around on these railings so clearly we can see a difference between the railings and the floor I'll be starting with the floor two coats and it's done
how a deck looks after being stained. It looks really beautiful and the best part is it is sealed now, no water damage. As you can see this is our neighbor's deck and this part of the deck is not sealed and this is our deck which is sealed. I will also show, show you how water will not get absorbed in the wood and it will protect our wood for uh, the next four years which the company promises. Uh, it, it did say it is clear sealant but as I read reviews on the website and on the manufacturer's page it has left a honey golden color uh, as you can see in the pictures. A few tips and tricks which I would like to share with you. Please make sure that you follow the manufacturer's instructions by reading, the, uh, reading them behind the can. This particular stain it was recommended that it should not rain for the next 12 hours so please be mindful of that. Two thin coats are required so and there should be enough gap about 1-2 to two hours between those two, uh, two coats. You should always use a nap roller or a brush which is again recommended for this. Spraying, it, you can also spray the deck but it's just that it requires a lot of uh, there is a lot of wastage and uh, also it will not get absorbed in the wood properly as compared to a brush and a roller. Regarding the temperature, whenever you are staining, please make sure that the temperature is above 2 degrees Celsius. And now we will do a water test. I will put some water on the board and see if it absorbs or it beats through. This is, this is the dried wood. It's already stained. So I will put some water here. So as you can see, the water has not absorbed into the wood and it just beats up. So like you see over here, see it's all beading, nothing is getting absorbed. So that means the wood has stained and there is no water damage, that there will be no water damage to the wood and the wood is protected for the next 4 to 6 years I believe, according to the manufacturer. Our deck is sealed now, but don't worry, we have lots more coming. This was only one part of our deck transformation and if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do subscribe it and for live updates please do follow us on Instagram. There's lot more coming so do watch out for this space and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.